Today, I'm checking out the Sterling by Music Man, James Valentine, signature guitar. <laughs> I did a video where I reviewed the St. Vincent guitar I bought and the guys at Music Man Sterling said, hey, we like that video. So they sent me an email and said, would you be willing to check out some other guitars? So I went on their website and I said, yes, anything that has roasted maple, I would love to get my hands on. So they sent me the James Valentine roasted maple neck guitar. So if you have a question, what is roasted maple? Well, that's why I was interested in this guitar. So let's talk about that. A roasted maple neck is where they take a maple neck and they put it in a special vacuum sealed oven at about 360 degrees. They do this to kind of get all the moisture and the sugars out of the wood. It makes the wood really dense, really dry, and it gives it a kind of chocolatey look. Now you might be familiar with roasted maple necks uh, if you're familiar with the fact that Sir guitars make them. Obviously Music Man has a whole line of them in their higher end guitars. You see Warmoth making necks like that and for a short period of time Gibson was doing roasted maple fretboards. So why is roasted maple important? One, it's a really great way to make a neck stable. So what happens is by roasting this maple neck they removed all moisture so you don't have to worry about fret sprout. You don't really have to worry about the neck moving. I'm not gonna say the neck is indestructible, but what I am gonna tell you is it's very resistant to climate change. In other words, if you take it from a wet climate to a dry climate or a cold climate to a hot climate, the neck is really gonna stay true. This came out of the box perfect. The action was set up great. The neck feels amazing. I've done absolutely nothing to this guitar um, other than maybe tune it up a little bit. So why am I so interested in this guitar and roasted maple necks? Well, I'm interested in it because like I said, I, I understand that they can do it on high-end guitars, but I always thought, wouldn't this be great in more affordable series guitars? Because it gives players with a uh, more moderate budget means to have a very, very, very good neck. Because one of the things that makes a guitar expensive is how long they have to dry out the wood, sitting on the wood for long periods of time, years even sometimes to dry out a piece of wood. Now I have not yet seen any issues with roasted maple necks. I've heard that working on them, they can be a little brittle. Um, but I think once you drill out the holes and they kind of fret them, any issues that was gonna happen would have happened by now. So let's talk about the guitar because the guitar is very interesting. First, it has a hardtail bridge. But what's really interesting is it has a single coil pickup in the bridge position and a humbucker in the neck position. So why is that a big deal? I saw a lot of comments online saying, I don't know why you put a single coil on the bridge. Well, here's what I think everybody missed. Here's a similar guitar. This is a Sir T-style guitar at about three to $4,000. It's got a hardtail bridge, an angled single coil in the bridge position, humbucker in the neck position, a roasted maple neck, locking tuning keys, and a compound radius. Now the Sterling by Music Man has a 12 inch radius with a solid ash body, but other than that, the features are pretty close. So there is a nine volt battery in this with a boost feature. So I'm gonna give you a demonstration of that. So let's go to this uh, bridge pickup. I'm running through my uh, Friedman uh, PT20 head into a Marshall 212 cabinet. So that to me is that Telecaster. You get a 60 cycle hum, you get a little spank to it. But then when you're ready to kick it in gear, you just push on this push push button. when you boost it you're gonna get even more 60 cycle hum and a lot of people say hey the 60 cycle hum is a that's why I want a humbucker well you're probably right but you know you shouldn't stop playing you should always be playing so you never hear the 60 cycle hum I don't know I don't have a better answer than that um, now let's go to the neck pickup of course it'll be noiseless because it's a humbucker and the boost feature works for that too <laughs> There's a lot of reasons why you'd want to boost. Maybe for a solo. Yeah, 
it's really powerful. In fact, I was almost, I had to double check the notes uh, when I was checking out the guitar. Like, hey, I was making some notations about what I want to talk about. And I was like, is it a boost? I have to double check this because it kind of feels like a sustainer. And it's not, it's a boost, but it feels like a sustainer where it just kind of really hangs those notes around versus without it dies off a little faster. This one's made in Indonesia, and we know they're doing good guitars out of there now. Uh, for $600 with a deluxe gig bag, that's within par of what you're you're gonna see in that price range from that kind of manufacturing. Um, and like I said, it's a very impressive guitar all the way around. Now, I seen where in another video, somebody said that theirs was light. Mine's kind of heavy. This one's about eight and a half, uh, almost nine pounds. So there's gonna be some variance in the air, uh, in the weight. Um, they were actually saying that their Music Man Sterling was very light and it felt, uh, you know, kind of really airy. Um, this is very heavy. So I think that's something you're just gonna be aware of uh, when you're when you're looking at these guitars. Like any guitar, there's gonna be variances in the weights in the woods. So I know a lot of you get upset if I don't do some cleans. So let's do some cleans in the guitar. So now I have it hooked up to my Fender 68 Princeton reissue uh, and uh, same microphone. Still getting some 60 cycle hum off that uh, bridge pickup, but that's okay. <laughs> But I'm going to show you the both pickups and how the boost works on a clean setting. So here is your uh, bridge. And let's go ahead and boost it. Wow, it's a big, it's a big difference. Okay, we'll go to that neck pickup. Now, of course, it's totally quiet. We're not getting 60 cycle hum. And same chord, same thing, unboosted. And now boosted. And of course, here's your middle. And the middle boosted. So I don't know if I really enjoy the boosted on a clean amp. I mean, I can see where I'd want to push the, a clean amp on the edge of breakup over. But on this, on this really clean Fender amp, I don't see where the boost is gonna do anything for me. You know, right? maybe in a solo again, if I'm trying to do a clean solo. Now, one thing I really like about this guitar in the clean setting is because the single coil on the bridge and the humbucker and the neck in the middle position, unboosted, it just has a really kind of like that spanky sound that I like. So to sum up, we have a roasted maple neck, locking tuning keys, deluxe gig bag, single coil and humbucker pickups with a boost feature, all for around $600. So is there anything that I can pick out that's kind of negative about the guitar? I think if you got the guitar as it sits, I think you would be happy, but I could definitely see where maybe upgrading the neck pickup might get you some improvements. So before I go, I really want to thank everybody at Music Man Sterling for sending this guitar out and letting me check it out and for being so kind and saying that you liked my St. Vincent review. Well, as always, I want to thank you guys for hanging out and checking out this guitar with me today. Just a reminder, if you like this video and you'd like to see more, of course you can subscribe. I'm sure you guys already know that. But don't forget to hit that bell notification. It seems to be an issue lately on YouTube that if you don't hit that, you don't get notified of videos anymore. And if you want to support what we do here and help us pay the bills, uh, don't forget we sell merchandise. It's in the link and down below. And that is always greatly appreciated. But even if you just watch, thank you for that. I really appreciate you. And until next time, know your gear.